booktube this is going to be the last video i record today um i've been trying to get ahead so i could edit more throughout the week and put stuff up but this is a book review on bruno fisher's house of flesh oh, my goodness let me tell you what this book was really good um the thing, I really went into this thinking it was going to be um, a very gothic, like a men's gothic romance book. And it totally wasn't. It's about a basketball player who is coming off a hard, a hard um, fought season where they didn't win the championship he just got divorced a little while ago and hasn't been quite the same so the coach is like you know what out in the country i have um some family that have a bungalow stay there for the summer relax get your head on straight blah 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 blah, blah. so he goes and he does that and while he's there he starts dating this um young chick who works at the post office um she's really nice and sweet but quite young and it's like uh -huh. um and then his ex-wife shows up with a dog and wants him to take the dog because the apartment she's in in new york won't let her keep the dog so now he's stuck with the dog <clears throat> but then um, all these dogs start coming around his place and are like trying to break in at night and it's freaking him out. But then he realizes that the dog is in heat and these are all male dogs. So he decides he's going to board the dog um, until the um, dog's heat is over. And he goes to the town vet because there isn't a place to board the dog. And he sees this woman who's not necessarily beautiful, but strange, that he saw um, earlier in the week. And um, the guy who is boarding the dog, the vet, they have all these big dogs that are scary. And, um, it turns out that, um, the vet's first wife, quite recently, um, disappeared under mysterious circumstances. And when the vet returned, he returned with this new wife. Um, and so there's all this mystery and nobody talks about it, but everybody gossips. So when you look at the original cover, there's like this scary house on the hill and like storm clouds and a vicious dog and a beautiful woman with a shotgun and all this stuff. All this stuff happens in the book, but in the book, it's so not like that. It's not... Um, it never feels like a New England coast gothic mansion horror story. It never feels like that. Um, it's really good. It keeps you interested. It keeps you turning pages. Um, there's constantly, um things popping up like as soon as you think you have it figured out you realize you don't um so that was really interesting and fun because a lot of times like you're reading these books and you're like a third of the way in and you're like okay i already know what happened and i'm gonna read this whole book and i have to act surprised at the end when it turns out I was right the whole time. This book has enough characters that you have red herrings, um, but not so many characters that you get bogged down. It has enough information coming out as the book goes that certain things you thought before you couldn't possibly keep thinking. It's just it's just paced well. It's the clues are dropped perfectly. Um, 
it's just really, really well done. Um, there is a gargantuan plot drop that lasts pages at the end of the book. And there's a part of me that's like, that's really, like, uh, but, like, I don't see another way they could have done it with all the stuff that was going on in the book. Like, you had to cross all these T's and dot all these I's. But it's just, like, one of those, like, a Bond villain, like, confessing everything to you before they know that you're gonna get it. It, it wasn't that bad, but it almost had that feel. And then the way it ended, ended... I was like, it didn't knock me off my feet. But the rest of the book was so good that the ending was very um, gratifying. It was it was not very gratifying. It was it was good, and I was glad that everything got tied up neatly. Um, so. I highly recommend it. This book was written in 1950. And, um, I don't think for a second, um, I was like, man, this is 1950. Like when I pictured the cars in my head, they were modern cars. Like nothing seemed old except the fact that there's a top basketball star chain smoking who is in really good condition. Um, that was kind of funny. But um, other than that, it was just superb. It was just really, really good. Um, if you get the edition of the book that has an introduction, um, don't read the introduction. Just go right into the book because the introduction spoils a couple things. And then one of the things that spoiled, I got confused by and thought, basically I thought that this one character in the book was going to end up being, um, like this one woman in the book was going to end up really being a man. Um, but I misread the character name in the introduction and it turns out it was talking about a dog. So, um, but the whole time I was reading the book, I'm like, okay, when's he going to find out that this lady's a dude? And then it never happened. And I was like, wait a second. And so I had to go back and I'm like, Oh, wrong character. So, um, just stay away from the introduction and just read the book. I'm telling you it's good. So just believe me because whatever I say is gospel. Um, so anyway, Bruno Fisher, um, house of flesh and like the house of flesh, like the title is so, um, scandalous almost, um, that you think you're going to get some like really gritty, smutty novel and you don't like, um, it's just really good. So, um, yeah, house of flesh, go get it. It's worth it. <laughs>